I know where my value comes from. It's not from that. Right. It's from what Jesus did for me. But I mean, I, I see where I guess I take the just war position. Mm -hmm. So that's why I can't really take a position. Because you don't know war. whether it was a just war. Right. Uh, and and from what I understand of the just war philosophy, a lot of it depends on sort of the consequences. Well, there's an element of is it a loving thing if I'm a father, I'm married, I have daughters. A man breaks into my house, he intends to rape and kill my family. Now, is that loving to just let him do it? Is it loving to just immobilize him? Or am I, is the just thing to basically stop him doing whatever means are necessary, right. including killing him? Which would then not only protect your family, but protect your next door, you know, right. family it next door. Right, protects everyone, and, and that's the loving thing to do. It doesn't seem like it at first, killing a man right. doesn't, but... If it came to it, it, it is. Yeah, and I studied uh, philosophy in college, and that's sort of what utilitarianism is like. You know, do you go with rule-based utilitarianism, where you follow the rule that maximizes utility in general, mm -hmm. or do you maximize the utility of this specific situation, even if it leads you to do things that might otherwise seem unjust? Right, and that's that's sort of the same thing with in, in theology. Like, how can a place like hell exist and God be love? Well, it's because He's love that a place like hell exists. But a lot of people don't <laughs> don't see that connection. Right. Um, to see evil for what it is, and that, and that's it's sort of the same thing. If again, it's like first Gulf War makes complete sense. Here's a guy who not only has invaded a sovereign nation, which of course had a lot of oil that we needed, but <laughs> it's also a situation where he also, and I don't think this was as big a, a point for people, but it, it should have been. He was building this massive gun which was aimed directly at Israel, which is also one of our closest allies, um, if not our, the closest, and he's ready to start firing. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until that first Gulf War we actually came in and dismantled the thing, uh, plus all the other stuff he had in storehouses and warehouses that really were weapons of mass destruction. But.